Hey, what is going on guys? It's Sarge and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the new Prime Vault changes that will be happening in the near future in Warframe. So drop a like on the video if you enjoyed and let's get started. Now for any new players to my channel who don't know what a Prime Vault is, it's essentially digital extremes releasing the relics needed to farm certain Warframes for a certain amount of time. They usually last around 1-2 to two months or maybe longer depending on certain circumstances. The problem with these Prime Vaults though is that they tend to release these Primes in set pairs such as Rhino and Nyx or Mag and Nova. And they're usually released around the same time every year so you know what to expect and it got really repetitive at times to actually see it. So in this new developer workshop they decided to do a few things. First they're ending the Rhino and Nyx Prime access early where now they'll be ending it on September 3rd instead of the 16th so about two weeks earlier than usual. Next they will be adding a new set with Valkyr and Saren Prime, giving us more frames to have access to while also diversifying the pool of frames that can be released in pairs and released in general. Lastly, they decided to change the things in regards to older content such as Frost, Ember, and Loki Prime and cycling them through gameplay and other offerings. Now I know DE doesn't watch my content, but I have a great idea that can solve two problems in this game which is one easy change, and that's bringing the old key system back. If you make the old primes available only in the void using the keys, the same way it was done before the relic system was implemented, it would allow players to have a solid reason to use the void outside of gathering 1-2 Argon Crystals for a weapon, and would also allow newer players to differentiate the older content from the newer content and give players more ways to farm items in the game. So that's everything from this developer workshop. I know it was pretty short, but I just wanted to put it out there. So what do you guys think? Is this a good change? And what kind of ideas do you guys have for the Prime Vault to improve upon it? Let me know down in the comments below. And with that, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Warframe content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.